can almost tell it from the way I'm walking to the crease. I get a bit of stick for having a bit of a strut. I do play best when I'm enjoying it. I think I kind of bounce on the scene, expecting everything to kind of happen for me straight away and learnt the hard way that actually, um, you know, you need to relax a little bit, not take yourself too seriously. And I used to almost think every game for England was my last game and I had to do everything. But um, now I just kind of relax and trust my skills and just kind of let that do the talking as such. One of our coaches said that I knew you were going to get 100 when you got to 10. Apparently it's kind of obvious, but <laughs> when I'm there, I'm not so sure. One of my best performances with the bat. It was really nice to share it with Sarah, and hopefully it'll go down as one of my most memorable for England. That will be her 100 as well. It's been a quite fabulous knock from Tammy Beaumont. It was a joy to watch for everybody. It's lovely when two people can get themselves in that place while having fun in the middle. I almost was more happy for her when she got her 100 than than I got mine. I think we all knew how much it meant to her. Every sort of 50 partnership, 100 and all of that, we kind of had a little cuddle in the middle and a lot of laughs, a lot of smiles. We've seen the journey she's been on. We've seen what she was like at the beginning uh, when she first came back to us and the strides and the, the courage she's had to show. A year ago for her to even dreamt of being part of a World Cup uh, was a bit of a dream. You know, for her to be back and then to be performing the way she is, I, I think it couldn't have gone any better at the moment. She feels the most at home on a cricket pitch. It's some of the other stuff she finds harder. So, yeah, all the players, all the support staff, everybody who's shared these last 12 months with her, just feel very happy and, and it's a pleasure to see her back. One of the best things you'll see in women's cricket. We're quite an emotional team, as I say. We, you know, we share things together, we cry together, and, and we, we, we sing together, and we're happy together. So part of the, my role is to accept that as well and get the girls to accept that and embrace it. It's who we are. The key bit is obviously to, to control it and make sure it doesn't get in the way of decision-making. There's a cry, it's off catch, and it's another one gone down. I don't think I can talk very much. I think I've dropped two, but I'm claiming I didn't get a hand on either of them, so they don't actually count. But obviously I don't say that in front of the fast bowlers faces because they don't they don't take well to the catches going down off their bowling. We've taken some absolute specky catches. I think Fran Wilson's probably got the tally of two at the moment. I think we just need to take a few more leads from her. It's England v Australia. Every time you put an England shirt on there's pressure. It'd be wrong for me to say there won't be nerves and there won't be expectation. But we need to be put under the pump. We need to play close games. We need to learn to play under pressure. And by the more you do under pressure, the better you get at coping. I grew up wanting to play an Ashes Test match, I've obviously got to do that, but to then play against Australia in, in one day cricket is just as big. It would send out a really big marker, obviously, if we did win. This team don't know how good they can be, and the ceiling is really high. Let's have a go at the champions, and we'll, you know, we're excited about that prospect.